My name's Noah Getz. My name's Jacqueline Pollock. And I'm the saxophone player in the saxophone and harp duo Pictures on Silence. And I'm a member of the duo Pictures on Silence. <laughs> Pictures on Silence uh, is a harp and saxophone duo that began uh, about two years ago. And it's an ensemble that Jackie and I thought would be a really interesting concept. It takes the duo concept, which may traditionally have been uh, perhaps saxophone and piano or flute and harp, uh, and has sort of a twist. Um, it's an ensemble that I think uh, has a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, of the different uh, extended techniques that we can use, and it's one that I think uh, can be very exciting for uh, composers to write for. It's, it's, it's a concept that I found that people are really curious about um, when they first hear about the instrumentation, and they want to learn more. Both harp and saxophone are slightly unusual instruments. It's not the violin or the piano or something where everybody is used to hearing those, and people don't have a preconceived notion of what harp and saxophone is going to sound like. So we get, in a sense, to kind of um, show people all of the different things that it can be. It's really kind of fun to explore sides of both the harp and the saxophone that maybe most people aren't aware exist, and that you can um, really kind of delve into these different sounds in the whole world. The harp and the saxophone are, are very interesting musical combination. The, the saxophone tends to be a very uh, lyric, vocal type of instrument. somewhere between a piano in terms of range uh, and, and potential for uh, that type of, of a setup, as well as, as having uh, more of a um, you know, more of a string, almost guitar-like uh, uh, sort of palette of articulation and color. So, so it really affords a lot of latitude in a certain way. Well, since harp and saxophone is not a standard ensemble, there's not a lot of repertoire pre-existing for the instruments. Um, we have found some that's out there, especially it seems that a few kind of obscure French composers wrote for the combination in the 20th century. We found that this was really an opportunity to work with contemporary composers, something that uh, both Jackie and I are very interested in and passionate about. And so uh, that's how we got to work with a lot of new composers. I really like the interaction of working with uh, living composers because you do get to interact with them. You get to spend time working with them and discussing, maybe even having kind of a role in how the piece shapes um, and getting to see them and how they work and answering all the questions. It's quite invigorating, that whole connection. The composers that we've worked with have found very intriguing and interesting ways to use both of the instruments uh, in terms of the extended techniques uh, that are available on both the harp and the saxophone. I think that's been very interesting. That, uh, that we've worked with, and so, so I, I think that what you get is something that has the potential of being fairly standard if we want it to be, but you also have something that has uh, a lot of latitude, uh, depending on the composer that we're working with, where it can really uh, be something that is much different, a different take on, on what might uh, at first uh, feel a little bit traditional. The reason that you should come to a concert of ours is that um, we're doing music that's written now. We're doing things that are contemporary, that are important, that are, that are exciting and fun in many ways. Um, you know, a lot of people approach us and, and ask, you know, what does the harp and saxophone sound like together? I think this is a very interesting question to be answered by our, our concerts, and I think the answer is, is a very satisfactory one. 
I think you'll find that um, that the two of us have a lot of experience in performing, a lot of experience communicating with the audience. We're very passionate about doing that. It's a collaborative effort and yet still a musical form in which each individual has a lot of input and creative license within it. Um, I've also found that working with Noah for the past two years we've really had a chance to kind of develop a good musical relationship and a personal relationship so I feel very comfortable working with him um, and I feel like the duo is quite open to various musical ideas or different directions and programming and those kinds of things. So it's been really exciting to have someone to experiment with these different things and discuss these different things with and decide together on a direction um, for the duo. We really have a wide variety of, of different repertoire for different concert possibilities. We, th we think very long and hard about what music we're going to be playing for a particular audience and uh, the pacing of the concert and what repertoire we might choose and how that's going to interact with the audience. Um, I think that um, you know the interaction with the audience is, is something that's uh, that that musicians find really interesting and rewarding. So I think it's really not your typical chamber concert. You're not just going to sit down and hear some music, but it's going to be an overall experience.